हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन अगली नंबर एंड द क्वेश्चन नंबर इज टू सिक्स थ्री एंड द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट इज एन अगली नंबर इज अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर हुज प्राइम फैक्टर्स आर लिमिटेड टू टू थ्री एंड फाइव गिवन एन इंटीजर एन रिटर्न टू इफ एन इज एन अगली नंबर सो बेसिकली दे विल गिव अस अ नंबर लाइक हियर एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड वी नीड टू रिटर्न द बोलियन True or false? If its prime factors are limited to these numbers, that is two, three, and five, we will return true. Else, we will return false. Like here in this example, six is equal to two into three, right? So here, two and three both belong to this number, right? Both belong to two, three, and five. So we will return true. Now in this second example, n is equal to one. One has no prime factors, right? So therefore, all of its prime factors are limited to two, three, and five. So we will return true. If it will be like any other number whose prime factors are like seven, the prime factor is seven. So we will return false in that case. So how can we solve this question? How can we think the logic to solve this question? Can we do one thing? Like here in this example, that is six, four, three, five. We need to check whether its prime factor is two, three, five only, or it has any other prime factor. Can we divide these numbers by two until its uh, two is not the factor of this number, and we will check uh, change that number to the new number like here. We will divide by two first. What will happen? This will be thirty-two. Now thirty-two into three into five. Again, it's divisible by two, right? Right. So we will divide again sixteen. So we will divide until two is not the factor of this number. So what will happen? In the last, it will be one into three into five. Now we will divide by this one. Sorry, by this three. Now it will be again one. Now we will do same for this five. Now it will be again one, right? So If its prime factors are only limited to two, three, and five, in the last it will be one, right? And if it is like seven into two, fourteen. After dividing two, it will be seven into one. But now after dividing three and five, because three and five is not a factor of this number, it will be seven in the last. And we can say if it has not any factors belonging to these three numbers. It means it has any other prime factor, so we can return in that case false, right? If it is, if it has, it has become one after dividing these numbers, in any time we can return true, right? So how can we write the code? Let's first write the code. So here it is our function that is bool ugly is ugly, right? So they have given a Integer that is n. Now we will write the code. Okay. Now first we will do a base condition. You can say base condition or a, a edge condition. If n is less than equal to zero, in that case we simply return false because if n is less than zero or is equal to zero, we don't need to find anything. We will simply return false, right? Now we will run a for loop. Why? Because we will check for each number that is two, three, and five. We will check for each number whether it is uh, it has a prime factor belonging to belonging to two, three, and five or not. Now the again the you can say base condition for this while loop. If it will be one. In the line number seven, you can see if n is equal to one. After dividing by two, three, five, in the last, what will happen? It will be one. If it will be one, it will we will return true as I told you, right? So if one will be our question, like if one will be our input as it was in example, we will simply return true in the first address only. Now in the line number eight. If n is n has a factor two, 
like right if n is divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 it is the actual code it means n is a factor which is 2 right so in that case we will divide that number by 2 until it uh, it has uh, no any factors uh, of 2 like 2 or 4 anything right so we will divide until 2 is not the factor of that number right now again same thing we'll do for the 3 and 5 so for the first time we will run up for, for 2 and the second time for 3 then for 5 and in the last condition if it has if it has no any factor like belonging to those number 2 3 and 5 because we know if else can in if else if condition else if condition only one thing will work right if this if will work uh, is this condition is true then these two condition will not uh, be functional right so if this if is false this else if is false then else will run right so if we do not have any prime factors belonging to these numbers like 2 3 and 5 in that case we will simply return false right I think it's our code. Now let's run the code. Yeah, it's running. Thank you.